Oh wait, I'm not here. There I am. Hello, I am the Ronan Pawn, and welcome to twitch.tv slash Ronan Pawn livestream on twitch.tv slash Ronan Pawn. Or at least the disembodied upper torso of twitch.tv slash Ronan Pawn's Ronan Pawn. From the twitch.tv slash Ronan Pawn's. You know me. Do I seem like maybe, I don't know, there should be more going on in the screen or something like that? Why am I just as a screen, a head in a corner is the question that I have. And, you know, wrapped in this green border like I'm a ninja turtle or something like that. Hello, Lava Lamp and Kenneth and Dank Dog. You have set the record? I have. As far as I know, anyway. And as far as anyone knows. Anyone who, you know, speed runs the swindle. And since I'm the only one, I think I can decisively say, uh, nice, hope you left the spinning dots on for proof. Oh, damn it. I forgot to enable the anti-cheat spinning dots. Shit. <laughs> oh, we need to feed Bezos already? I I'll do it. Don't, don't even start with me if you think I won't do it, because I will do it. Will I do it? I'm going to, I'm going to, there you go. <laughs> I actually have been... Uh, clicking a one minute ad during the opening of every live stream, like while the two minutes are rolling, the pre roll, um, because, you know, it, it says that it's disabling ads for 20 minutes. It's like, why not? Why not screw Twitch out of some money? They do it to me all the time. Dank dog. Hey, yo, he's upright after a week. Bring the green screen back. Bring back the green. I mean, it's lying around here somewhere. It's probably folded up in a corner. I can go get it for you. Bring it, bring it back. <laughs> Not not use it, but I could bring it back to you. Goodness, this microphone is so sensitive, and it's right here in front of my mouth. I I forgot what this was like. How's everybody doing? Are you enjoying the just sitting in Ronan Pawnville? No green screen show kitties instead. Yeah, it's probably their hour of laying around doing nothing. Yeah, it's any hour of the day, so yeah, that would be their time. Um, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I have defeated the swindle. I have, I, have, <clears throat> I have gotten things stuck in my throat. I've accomplished many goals, uh, long-term, you know, goals of mine. I got an ad for Corsair Keyboard and Maple Story. Ooh, you got lucky. Oh, jeez. Corsair and Maple Story? Damn. <laughs> um... I have defeated the swindle off stream, as I said I would do because I was sick of grinding the swindle on the stream where people could see me uh, and, and just make me angrier at the swindle as we did it. But I have done it, and the reason why I'm a disembodied head is because, friends, why? why? Because when we open this, this video up, uh, I'm suddenly in exactly the right place. In the original recording, I'm just not here. Is the thing. There's no one there, but I can I can uh, fake it, um, post commentary style, put myself in the corner, huh? Clever. Uh, I missed the green screen comment because of the ad. Oh, shoot. <laughs> I, so you guys actually saw ads? What? I thought subscribers weren't supposed to see ads. Are Are you not subscribed? You just throw nickels at me? Can it's just a moderator of the channel? But <laughs> King Dog Speed, welcome in, just in time. Just in time to see me decimate the swindle. So, um, as far as I know, uh, the world record for the swindle, as it says down there somewhere, is uh, 55 minutes and 30 seconds. It is on YouTube. I have now watched it. I didn't watch it before I beat the world record. You know me. It's just my way. I want to I wanna invent the speed run. I want to be coming up with my own milieu, no, my, my own... Um, methods and tactics and, and find things out by experimenting. If you do what's been done before, then you'll never know what's possible if you did it a different way. So, um, I have now watched that one, and very interesting, the differences between my speed run and the, uh, the former world record, because this what we're about to see is, is the new one. Don't worry, this is a recording. That's right, we can change it all. If, if, if the speed run isn't fast enough, I just do a little bit more editing. <laughs> And we, we can make it go faster. Um, so yeah, we're gonna we're gonna watch me, you know, crush the swindle today. 
Uh, we know that the what we're about to watch is less than 55 minutes and 30 seconds long. And the question is, how much less? Because you can see my splits below here, uh, that my previous PB was an hour and 30 minutes. And uh, it was many a day grinding to to get the, the sum of best. You can see the sum of best was already at, at 105, an hour and five minutes. And we're going to do better than that today. Just cheat. That's the easiest way to win. That's I don't see why anyone would do it any other way. Hello, make it pies. Tempted to combine strats and destroy it harder? A little bit, yeah. Yeah, I am. <laughs> Lava lamp, how did you know? Now that I've seen the world record and seen what they do, and it's stupid. It's, 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 it's not the way that you should go about it until it is. And then it's like, well, actually, that would maybe that could work. That could, hmm, hmm, well. Yeah. Should we take bets on which segments get gold? Uh, the blues, the golds? Uh, we could we could do some kind of a bet. What, um... What, could I set up a... a just, mm -hmm. I'm very bad at these things that you can now do with... Uh, it's a prediction. We're not betting. We don't gamble on, on Twitch. We just, you know, use a in-house currency in order to, you know, wager... Um, on on the unpredictable outcome of things in a way that it has no skill to it whatsoever. But we don't we don't gamble on Twitch. Twitch is anti gambling, obviously. <clears throat> um, will I get into New Belgravia in the next half hour? Um, oh, okay, that was our last prediction. Apparently, did I never pay that out, or did I, or I don't know? Snake what? Snakeathon. One twenty-five thousand channel. Snakeathon one. Snakeathon was here ever. What, what are we? What are we doing here? <laughs> I'm very confused. Snakeathon, yes, highest winners and payouts. Dank dog, dank dog won. Snakeathon, yes. Why would Snakeathon and yes be there? Did I pay that out? I, surely I paid that out. Why is this? I don't understand any of these things. Let's start a new prediction. No, not start a prediction. Okay, there we go. Right. What viewers will predict. Okay, so what's our prediction going to be? Um, how how deep is my new world record? That's what we're going to say. And outcome one will be, um, like, barely. Uh, <laughs> and, then, and then, so it'll be, like, between a point and another point. Um, so, sub, sub 50. Uh... Sub 45, sub 40, uh, and sub 35. I think those are, those are all, like, believably doable. Well, not all of them. But, you know, some, some idiots might believe. <laughs> I'll tell you what, I'm taking sub 35 out. That's just, like, what are, you, what are you talking about? But sub 40, sub 45, and sub 50, and, you know from just just sub 55 30 down to 50 those all seem like reasonable let's have a two minute submission period start the prediction how deep do you think my cut was right within 24 hours that's fine i'll confirm it then and then yes how deep is my new wr okay and now if you sit over there then i can watch as people you know gamble let's so um, is it open? It's open. All right. Um, I guess we could just get into it then. Without further ado, let's start doing it. And I'm going to try and, like, post-commentate this, um, with half of a mind. I'm not going to care that much about it, but I'm going to have half a mind for, like, putting this up to YouTube at some point. Sub-45 is technically sub-50 also. Damn it, Harold, you got me on the technicalities there. Let's, let's, let's go, okay? So... That's not the word. We haven't started yet. Don't don't hold that against me. We're just we're just getting started again. So the Swindle is a game that was released in 2015, I believe, maybe 2014. But uh, I started playing it in 2015. I've been playing it you know, all this time since. That's in case you're counting seven uh, years, not continuously, just off and on. I keep coming back to it. And uh, recently we decided, you know. 
what if we tried to turn it into a speed run? And I looked into it and found out that there's a few people who have tried to turn this into a speed run before. And the fastest time that I could find was 55 minutes and 30 seconds uh, on YouTube. There's a YouTube video by uh, the speedrunner. Let me just check my notes over here. I don't know who 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 did it. <laughs> um, but you can look it up. You can find the 5530 on YouTube. Um, and I did not actually watch the world record before I came into speedrunning the swindle. I wanted to come into it and just figure it out and see what could be done. I actually didn't know all of the tricks either uh, that we're seeing some of right now and that we'll be seeing throughout the run um, that allow us to glitch around in the swindle. Uh, but uh, yeah, we started grinding it on live stream, and um, I'm calling this day eight of world record attempts when I finally thought that I could possibly get a, a world record out of the game. Um, it was more than eight days because there was a lot of practicing off off stream as well. And I'm really curious to see when we get to the end of this thing um, just how many attempts were recorded by live split. How many attempts did it take me to go from never speed run d -d 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 this game before to world record? That'll be a good fun one. Um, uh, I closed to look at chat, and now I can't wager. What? Should be able to... Bet's closed. Short one. I, I put it up for two minutes. For two minutes, we've got a bet open in chat, a prediction on how deep is my speed run cut. Um, but yeah, so we're making our first buy right now, so I've just done something that's rather odd, uh, which is that I ran two levels uh, without buying the hack skill. So this is a game about, you know, stealing money from robots, apparently. And, uh... Should have asked if you died in the speed run or if it was deathless. Oh yeah, that could have been a good prediction. Well, le in case this commentary goes to YouTube, then uh, l let me know in chat right now. You can predict it right now by leaving a comment in chat as to whether or not you think <laughs> that I'll die or will take Henry Bearsford, the first thief, all the way to the end of the game. But I opened this, uh, this particular run up a very unique way that I've been doing just sort of playing around, entertaining myself, and also testing uh, a premise. So, the way the swindle works is it will... It will... If you don't have the ability to hack a computer like I'm doing right now, if you haven't bought the ability to hack a computer, which is what we do in our first buy, then if you pick up all of the money off of the ground in any one of these levels, it counts that as 100% of the money, even though the big bucks are right there, 878 pounds we just picked up off of that, whereas off of the ground, what are we picking up? Show me. Eight. Eight pounds. So, a slight difference, you know, one percent of the amount of, of what's in a computer is, is on the ground. Um, but if you don't get the hack skill, then it will count um, just the money on the ground toward the hundred percent goal. All we really need out of this first area, the slums, this first district of the game that we're playing in, is to have a bunch of successful heists, which means getting 80% uh, of the loot out of a building or more. This game is unfortunately British. Why, w why would you say unfortunately? It's got such charm to it. Did you know that on the hour, if you're playing the swindle and the hour passes, the swindle, you will hear Big Ben chime the hour in the background. Usually you don't get to hear the full hour because you're out of the level by the time, but but you, it, it will start chiming the hour anyway. <laughs> Boy, it is proper British in it, mate, says NerdGod56. I'm sorry. What NerdGod56 said is, Boy, it's proper British in it, mate. Get out to the pub. Get... All right, I'm sorry. I, I'm, I, I apologize to... I mean, me and the Scottish are cool anyway, but... Uh... <laughs> Are you coming back to Cluster Truck anytime soon? I do. I do owe you some 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 world records in Cluster Truck because you helped me get to my sub goal. So yes, I will be. And the fact that I can sit upright in this chair right now that my health is good enough to do this for an hour at least um, means we're well on our way. I've just triggered an alarm, so now all of the robots they do be after me though. Don't don't day. Um, in fact. No, 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 I'll leave, I'll leave. Um, but yeah, so we're going through the slums. All we need out of the slums is, uh... What we want is to generate a two times multiplier. 
on all of the money that we will be taking out of, oh, the real cops are here, just in time for me to leave. Um, a two times multiplier. And you'll notice uh, that that was 73% successful, that last uh, uh, heist that we just ran, which means that one did not co count toward our multiplier. It doesn't matter, we've already gotten our double. The way that this works is if you get 80% or more of the loot out of the heist, it's counted as a successful heist. And you get 0.2%, <laughs> you get a point, uh, you get a 20% bonus uh, for your XP, for every XP level that you get, basically. So with each day that we, um, that we do uh, a heist, for each uh, successful heist that we complete, we get a 20% bonus for every dollar that we pick up. So uh, what we've done by staying in the slums for five, six days is we've just turned uh, you know, every dollar that we pick up into two dollars, every hundred into two hundred, every ten thousand into twenty, that sort of a thing. And we'll continue getting, as long as we get some successful heists, we'll continue bumping up that, that multiplier. Um, but what we need is at least two times, at least two times. I mean, if you can have it, you might as well, right? That's, that's why came at it that way in the speed run anyway. I don't know if it is the best way. Um, let's see. Isn't that even political though? Bro, are you British? Are you even British? Pawn can make it political. I can make anything political. What do you, what do you want? You know, I can SJW this up, this, this speed run. I can absolutely do that for you. Um, but yeah, so we've, we've gone through the slums, we got our multiplier up to two times, uh, we got enough money out so that we could buy sort of the basic tools to be able to come into the next district, which is the warehouse district, and that's what we're in right now. For the warehouse district, my, uh, mentality here is the odds of, uh, the swindle is a procedurally generated game, so having played it, you know, uh, thousands of times now in, in the speed run, just in, in the past month, uh, I think I can confidently say that uh, the generation rules for the warehouse district tend to... Yeah, there's no fall damage. There is fall damage in the game, but if you spam the jump button, then you just can't die from fall damage. Um, I think I can confidently say about the warehouse district that the way that the levels generate, uh, there is a high likelihood that they will... that they will have two computers in them. It's the highest probability is that there will be two computers in the warehouse district. Um, you can get one, you can get three, I think I've even seen four, but you're probably only going to see two. So, since it is a speed run, I try not to waste my time looking for more than two, unless it's easy to look or you see the third while you're doing the second kind of a thing. Uh, so, my mentality for the warehouse district is we can be out of this district in just two heists. Two heists, which two computers each, um, because we've got that two times multiplier, lots of twos going on here, you can walk out of the warehouse district with 26 to 30,000 pounds in your pocket, and that's all you need in order to get into the next district. Each district, the money that's on the ground and the money that's in the computers is going to be more and more valuable. There's going to be more money per heist, so the whole mentality behind this speed run, which was not employed by the, you know, former world record holder, um, is to rush to the areas where you can get the big bucks, you know, not hang around in the lower areas. Um, make the queen dying political. I think she did that, honestly. I think she... <laughs> jump utilities, good place to buy a double jump. Yeah, so we're making another buy right now, and uh, what did I just do? Boy, I'd love to... Oh, we've just gone into New Belgravia. So, I've just bought all of the tools that, honestly, I would like to have in the warehouse district. On the, on the perfect run, I would be coming out of the slums with every tool that I need for the warehouse district and for New Belgravia, except for one. Um, and then I'd just be buying that, but usually you end up uh, missing a few tools uh, and having to buy them once you get to New Belgravia. Uh, what I just did there was I threw the first level of New Belgravia back to the dogs. I didn't want it. Um, the first level of any uh, district in this game has a higher probability to have fewer computers in it. So, since we're just interested in the money that we can get from computers here, uh, what you're likely to see in the first level, and it's not always this way, but it is probable it seems, um, what you're likely to see is a big building with a lot of enemies that's difficult to get through that doesn't have a lot of computers in it. Watch this guy. 
Bing. <laughs> I'm uh, I'm not deterred by the fact that I've just set the alarm off here. I'm gonna blow a hole into the building, come into that hole, knock some people over. I have to be careful about this guy. He's got a pistol. Um, also, there does seem to be a you know beam of electricity that's waiting for its opportunity to kill me. It's out of my way. So I come in, I knock that guy over before he can get a shot off. That guy, uh, he, see how he's spewing a bit of green smoke? He, he's got poison in him, you want to stay away from him. Um, now I'll just wait for the electricity to go off and exit. And because I've got a lot of time and experience into the, the swindle at this point, I have a pretty good idea that the cops are not going to be an issue. And they were almost an issue, so don't trust me, I'm just the new world record holder. Um, Dank Dog uh, asked, what's a double jump? And uh, we looked into that while we were speedrunning because it's one of the things that you can buy. Swindle is a very interesting game because of the fact that you start out with no, like, good movement abilities. And as you play the game, the game gets easier to play because you're buying all of the kind of movement skills that you would expect to have in a game. Uh, no one in chat, including me, had ever heard of a double jump. I believe is, is how it was originally pronounced in, um, you know, Tunisia, where, where they first came up to it. it. It apparently has something to do with horses and gates, um, and French pastry is our best get, guess at this point. We're still, I've got a couple of, a couple of people on the Discord are still looking into it for me. They're going to report back, um, they say they might have some results by 2024, so... Uh, Double Jumpy is... we're, we're gonna find out, okay? You know, make sure you've subbed to the channel and <laughs> follow me <laughs> on social media. Uh, <laughs> it's where you jump but twice? I don't... I don't... that's... that sounds... did you hear that from Jordan Peterson? He's an idiot, don't listen to him. He just makes things up and says them aloud. That's not... that's not... we need to do research. We need facts here, okay? <laughs> Um, but yeah, you will see throughout this run that there are certain levels where I'm just walking away from them. Uh, you know, if, if I walk into a level and I, it's gonna make me really work hard and take a lot of risks and maybe get my thief killed, uh, in order to get at the computers, then I might as well just head back to the ship and, uh, load the next level up. You know, uh, take the 12 to 20 second loss of loading a level, and uh, roll the dice for a better one, because there is very good probability here that you will have what we've come to call early computer in any one of these levels, uh, which is to say that you scroll the screen once, maybe go up by one, and there's a computer, there's at least one computer there. So if you're not seeing it, and you're seeing a lot of enemies that you don't want to have to deal with, you know, it's a speed run. It's probably going to be faster to just uh, book it to just throw that one back, you know? You don't need every single fish in the sea, is what I'm saying. Oh, I've been seen. There, there's, there's, there's some definite drama to this speedrun, and I feel that this post-commentary is not doing it credit, you know? Because I'm very much like, I know that I win in the end, it's no big deal. But I suppose that was given away by, you know, the title of the live stream or the video on YouTube, if that's what we're watching right now. Don't you switch characters if you die, says Nerd God. That's, indeed, that is exactly what happens. So, the main feature of the speedrun is that we want Henry Beresford, our first thief, to survive the entire run because he's the guy who's got all the experience points. Um, if he dies, we will get a new thief, and that thief will have absolutely no experience points, and uh, the experience points are why we have that two times multiplier. In fact, right now, what we have is a 2.4 times multiplier on every dollar that we pick up. So every hundred is 240 pounds in our pocket. Uh, you should talk about what dying means. Dying is uh, what the planet that you're standing on is doing under your feet. And once you realize uh, that this giant thing that hosts you and uh, everything that you've ever known is in the process of dying out from underneath you, you will start to comprehend that you too will do that activity someday. And um, you're actually doing that activity right now. You're on the way, but you're going to complete the activity someday, and then you can have your midlife crisis. I'm just coming to the end of mine. <laughs> uh, so you're not going to go by in-game time? Um, this 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 speedrun actually doesn't even exist as far as speedrun.com is concerned as of yet. 
Um, I think I will try to get, uh, you know, SRC to to give me uh, the super moderatorship over a, a swindle speedrun page, and I'll add the original world record, and, and or I'll I'll add everything that I can find. Uh, about the swindle and people who have tried it before and then leave mine up there. This is a very beatable world record when we get, you know, like... It, it, it's it's RNG. It's a hard game, it's a difficult game. First you gotta get good at it, then you gotta get lucky, then you gotta, you know, get lucky and be good at it at the same time. It's a very difficult speedrun because of all of the RNG involved. But, this time is a time that I think I could probably beat. Um... Yeah. Without giving away you know, what kind of time we're going to have by the end of it. Um, but yeah, I don't think, uh, considering the, uh, I'm only aware that maybe three or four people have ever speed runded the swindle. I don't think we're going by IGT just yet. I don't need the Earth, I'll order a new one on Amazon. Well, that's, that's clever. Um, I'm sure Bezos has one in storage, and I'm sure that all he had to do in order to get it was, you know, break some unions and uh, maybe maybe force some children to work in some slave coal factory somewhere or something like that. I'm sure I'm sure you can get one on Amazon. Mm. <clears throat> you know, Twitch is also owned by that asshole. Did you know that? That's what we're broadcasting on right now. Lava Lamp says, I don't know how beatable this run is. It's got no... T <clears throat> titties. It's got no titties is what he's... I don't know. Um, how is everyone else fine? Beatable. At least some of the other streams had feet. Okay, you've lost me now. Is that a Beetlejuice reference? It sounds like the kind of reference that Lady Pawn would make. <laughs> no feet. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so we exited the warehouse district a um, little bit better than two minutes ahead of our PB. And we're coming to... Uh, we're losing time right now you know, that we had already gained in New Belgravia. Every run, though, in this game is very, very different. You, you'll you lose a minute here and then pick it up on the next area. If you spend more time in an earlier area, then you're probably, you're probably saving time later by staying somewhere a little bit longer earlier. Uh, and if you aren't and it's just wasting time, then wh why not just go ahead and reset the speed run? Um, yeah, one of the other features of, of this run, of my run, is that I don't care about being seen. I don't care about triggering no security systems or alarms. I'm here for, you know, a little bit of cash that I could successfully leave with, and then I can, you know, multiply it 2.4 times in my pocket because of some kind of magics. That's what I'm here for. I don't care about being seen. If you do check out the um, former world record, the 5530 run that's on YouTube, You'll find out that every single level that they run uh, is a 100% or, well, 99 or 100% level, and they do not get seen. They're going for the ghost bonuses, um, which, to explain, at the end of each level uh, on that screen where it tells us precisely how much money we took out, there's uh, several different bonuses you could get. One of them is the ghost bonus. The ghost bonus requires you to get 99% uh, or more of the money out of the level and not be seen. Simple as that. Um, the ghost bonus in the first area, the cheap area, the slums, is, uh, I believe it gives you 750 pounds, is that right? Um, and we actually take advantage of that in our first level. On the first level of our run, we need 100% out of there because we're going to use that 750 pounds extra that we just got in order to buy a double jump, I'm sorry, a double jumpy, um, and the ability to hack computers, uh, and then we won't have to make a, another buy until we're exiting the slums. Um, but as you go into a new district, the ghost bonus, the value gets higher and higher and higher. So um, in the previous world record, every single run that they did was 100% not seen ghost bonus run by the time you get to where we are right now casino town and uh there's there's an enemy who can hear you and has a bomb strapped to them but the enemies do get more difficult as you go in this game um what was i saying, I was saying uh, by the time you get to casino town if you get a hundred percent of the money or 99 percent of the money out of casino town out of one of these levels um, the bonus that you're getting is, I believe, in the hundreds of thousands of pounds. 
or at least it's a hundred thousand pounds. Um, I'm not sure exactly what that is because that's clearly not the tactic I took. I took the chip away at it kind of a tactic, the give me the easy money and I'm leaving kind of a tactic, and we'll see just how that worked out for me. Uh, Dank Dog says, talk about the frog. The invisible frog? We don't, we don't see him, we don't talk about him. Uh, the worst enemy in this game, the absolute worst, most difficult, hardest enemy to deal with is the frog. I've just bought every level of hack aptitude, um, and I think I'm about to make an error in, yeah. You'll note that I just split there. I, I didn't, I didn't mean to split there. Now it thinks we're in the banks, and I know that I've made the mistake, um, in the speedrun, like right now, you know, in the past. Past Pawn knows that he's made the mistake, he just can't remember which buttons he has to press on the keyboard in order to fix the mistake quite yet. Give him some time. But the most uh, dangerous um, enemy in this game is absolutely the Poke Frog, is what we call it. Uh, and we're out of the levels where you'll often see the Poke Frog, but you certainly can still see it. Um, once you're into the warehouse district, you're going to start seeing this little frog that looks like a Pokemon. Um, and what it likes to do is it likes to sit almost perfectly still, looking very similar to a money bag. And maybe this is an SM64 reference, maybe this is Super Mario 64 uh, and the money bag frog things that, I don't know. But it likes to sit almost perfectly still, uh, so that you can easily just walk into it, thinking that it's a, it's a money bag, or just not even seeing it because so many of the robots blend into the background in the damn game. Um, it also, uh, the way that it moves is it jumps, like, once every three seconds. It does a little... Then it jumps. And that means that sometimes it can actually just come right over the edge of a platform and, uh, and fall down on your head without you realizing that there was even, that there was something above you that could have done that. The Poke Frog is the most dangerous son of a bitch in the whole damn game. You must respect it. Uh, and curse its name. Uh, on Twitch with just the worst language that you can possibly find, has been my way of dealing with it anyway. Um, but yes, uh, when we exited this level just before, <laughs> before I got off onto the Poke Frog, I bought the Hack Aptitude skill and I bought all three levels of Hack Aptitude. That was a recent update to routing, we'll say, um, for this run, because uh, I had looked into I mean, I, I didn't have to look into it because uh, I believe it was Dramacian went on the, uh, the Discord server and just, like, copy-pasted the information for me. When I finally realized uh, the Hack Aptitude bonus, every level is worth a 25% bonus uh, toward the money that you pick up, which means you buy all three of them. Now you've got a 75% additional bonus on top of every dollar that you, that you get out of computers in particular. Um, that is absolutely worth investing in. Uh, at some point in the run, so I invested in it here in Casino Town. Once we had the money for it, got all of it, which means we've got sort of a 2.4 times multiplier on every dollar that we pick up right now. But then we also get 75% bonus out of the computer, which means we're kind of tripling our money out of every level at this point. Um, and I will absolutely like point to and point that out when we leave this level and we'll see. Because right now, in the top left of the gameplay there, you'll see that my haul is 40 grand. I've got 40,000 pounds in my pocket. And that's, that, that is a come on. So if you, if you want to do something later tonight, you know, have a few drinks. No, I've got 40,000 pounds in my pocket right now. Um, when we exit the level, I've got Steam Purge, which hides you from, from the police there. Uh, it turned... It, <coughs> that 40,000 pounds turned into 167,000 pounds. So yeah, we're more than tripling. No, we're not quite tripling. 140 times 3 would be 120. We're, we're quadrupling is what we're doing. I don't know how maths do, but we're making more money than we should, and that's what we want. And that's the money that we need. We put all that haul money into the bank. We got 165 grand right now. In order to get into the banks, we need uh, a quarter million. We need 250,000 pounds. So one more successful heist, like the last one, will get us what we need. Talk about the steampunk UFO cop. No, no. he's... Why would I talk about him? He's a dick. 
Thank you, Dank Dog, for the cheer. 2.4 times 1.75 equals 4.2 multiplier? I I don't think that's how it works, but maybe it does. I don't know. We, we've walked out with 40,000, and it turned into 167. So, I, I actually... There is a complex mathematical formula that you, that uh, Dramasian found on Steam by the by the developer. It's not complex mathematical formula, but you know, it's, it's algebra. <laughs> that it's like, this, this multiplier is applied first, and then that multiplier, and so it's uh, aptitude bonus times ghost bonus plus the thing, and then the other, and then carry the six. So, yeah. It is a trap, triflistic. What am I buying now? Um... That's another thing, is there is a lot of, even though this is a speed run, there's a lot to, especially the end game, you know, we're in a casino town right now, we just gotta get into the banks and then we're going to the final level. There is a lot toward the end of this speed run that is... It's not over. I just, I was out of, so, remember how my splits were wrong? So I'm fixing them right now. Hang on, hang on, he's, he's fixing them. Past pawn is fixing, there, he's got it fixed. Now the casino town split is wrong, but, we're, well... The split into the banks is now... We're, we're fine, we're gonna say. Anyway. Is this world record still on the controller, says Dank Dog? Absolutely. And you can see in the bottom right of this video, of this footage, hopefully, you can see everything that I'm putting in on the controller. It's not a Sony PlayStation 3 controller, by the way. It's an 8-bit Pro, or an 8-bit Do, <laughs> uh, Pro 2, uh, that I'm absolutely in love with. Uh, the best controller that I've ever owned. Uh, and it makes me want to play everything on control. Is the audio sync off, by the way, says Nerd God 56? I don't... On me, or on the game? <laughs> or on both? It, it could be... It could be all of those things. Um, with as complicated a, as a live streaming setup I've got, and I'm playing recorded footage that was recorded on the same setup, and then filtering it through again... Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Audio seems good? Okay, good. But yeah, so a lot of the um, routing for the end game of this speedrun is still in development even now. Even now that I've got a, a new world record for it, I would say, you know, it's it's just unknown. So you will see me, you know, taking uh, time on those buy menus when we're back at the airship and we can buy new things uh, because I'm considering what would be most helpful and uh, at this point, I was still, and if I were still playing it, and I kind of am, because you just get addicted to it, uh, still experimenting, still seeing what's going to work for me best, and trying to decide in these late tools that we buy, um, what is best at the two things that need to happen. One is that I need to stay alive. I gotta keep Henry Bearsford alive. So tools that are going to help me make money across these last two districts, um, while, you know, keeping me alive, making it safer for me to be there, and then also the tools that I'm going to need anyway when we get to the last level of the game, the Swindle, because there are some necessaries that you absolutely have to have going into the Swindle itself, which I'll talk about when we get there, I suppose. Your camera died, Pawn, is what I would say if I were a troll. What? <laughs> I'm still working on that theme for the Pro 2, and Pawn is off, game is not. I'm off? My my words and lips and things? I could believe it. The other thing is I've got two different microphone setups now because sometimes I'm live streaming from here in the chair in front of the PC and sometimes I'm live streaming from back there on my bed and so this microphone is a better microphone by the same company, Movo, um, and it doesn't need as much post-processing to sound the way that I want it to. That one does, which means that there's a higher delay back there so the live stream currently, the audio is set up with a delay that accounts for the other, the long neck microphone. So one of the, I'll, I'll say the second scariest enemy in the entire game after the Poke Frogs is this guy right now that's to the bottom left of me and who's got that little microphone symbol. There's three of them in fact floating around right now. Um, 
These guys are the, the second scariest enemy. When they hear you, they spit out little bugs, and he just heard me and spat out a bug, and thankfully there was a bomb that I was able to detonate right next to him, so I didn't have to deal with it. Here's another one. Yes. Those bugs, um, they're just a one-hit kill, but he spits out three of them on the final level of the game, the swindle, if there's, um, if you see those enemies there, then they'll spit out five of them at a time, and they're just tiny little dots that are coming for you, and they're a one-hit kill. And they can just instantly be the end of Henry Beresford and that 2.4 times multiplier and and the speed run. Um, and since they are like free movers once they've been pooped out uh, by the by the host enemy, let's say, they're just very dangerous, very unpredictable. They'll get stuck on a corner, and you'll be like, okay, I, I guess they're not coming after me, and you'll carry on with your life, and then you'll be in the middle of the level and suddenly die, and you'll go, what the hell just happened? And you won't know unless you're recording and look back on the footage and go, oh, it was one of those little gnat bastards. So you must take them seriously. Um, I'm playing this level very well right now. We found a computer that was unsecured, which means I could hack it without setting off the alarms. I got everything out of that computer, and then I set up a path and cleared out the whole way so that I could get two secured computers on my way out even after I'd triggered the alarm, uh, which puts 109 grand in my pocket that I've just taken out of this level. That's my haul right now, which of course turns into 460,000 pounds. Now, to buy your way into the Swindle, you have to pay to get into the Swindle just like all of the other districts here. You only need 400,000 pounds, but you're going to need some serious tools if you're going into the Swindle. Um, the most absolutely necessary, you cannot do the Swindle without it tool, is to make sure that you have all of the levels of bomb. Uh, you can buy... Uh, three bombs to start, and there's two more purchases where you can go up to six bombs and nine bombs. By the time you're doing the swindle, it's theoretically possible to do it with just six bombs if you've got other tools, but uh, you really have to uh, get nine bombs. Those bombs need to be upgraded to the largest bomb size. They start out at, uh, they'll blow up a three by three area. Uh, by the time you're going to the swindle, you want to make sure that your bombs are blowing up a five by three area. Um, that's going to be an absolute necessity. Another necessity uh, that is going to be very hard, like you're just rolling the dice if you don't get it, is to have a, uh, what's called a tripel jump, uh, I believe is how it's pronounced in its native Bulgaria. <laughs> you're gonna want a triple jump or you're going to want the ability to stick to glass or something because the swindle, uh, those levels can generate in such a way that you, if you don't have one of those two things, you just won't be able to move through the level the way that you need to. Um, oh shoot, hang on. Dank Dog said, Micro microphone review channel when? Well, there will be microphone review videos hopefully coming out soon because I did promise the companies that gave me these phones that I would at some point review them, so kind of owe them that, but uh, an entire channel just dedicated to it? I, I don't... No, no. <laughs> the Rodan Pawn channel is the one that is monetized, so... <laughs> uh, getting audio sync issues because of your distance from the microphone? I remember you going over a very contentious video with that difficulty. Um, not necessarily my distance from the microphone, but um, because of my post-processing. I, I think you're being funny. I don't... Uh, but because of my inline processing that I'm doing, um, there's, uh, I don't think this microphone has any, like, noise cleanup filter on it. I think I just got rid of it because it sounds, it sounds very good, naturally, on its own. And has a very low, um, noise threshold, you know, has a very quiet, uh, self-noise. Uh, the other one is a significantly cheaper microphone, um, that is meant to be, you know, cheaper, um, and it's, perfectly good for what it is meant to do, um, but it it has a higher noise level and needs a little bit of cleanup to be to my standards. You see that? I almost died to that little bastard. There's a little, see him? That guy I just killed there. I did not see that guy, and you saw me like jumping all around that area, in and out, in and out, in and out. I could have bumped my head, killed Henry Bears for 34 minutes into the live stream, never knowing what was going on. Oh yeah, I also learned how to hack the drones, so now they work for me. There's a lot of things going on in the in the speed run. 
One of the tools that I buy in order to do the swindle is I buy the ability to hack drones that I have knocked down. I find them very helpful in the final level of the game. You hack the guys and then they just like run around for you and they get rid of all your problems without you having to, you know, risk your own tail on the last level of the game when the stakes are the highest. So I, I bought that in preparation for the swindle. I have it here. I don't usually use it outside of the swindle, but apparently I did there for some reason. The video of Pawn is slightly faster than the audio, and game is not for me. No biggie, just pointing it out. Okay. I mean, I would expect there to be a slight audio discrepancy, so if it's not a, a nuisance. And I, I might be able to fix it in post. You know, I record the audio on separate channels, so I can do that. A trouble jump? Uh, no, a, a trouble jump. It, it's got more of an i from it. Oh, okay, so I just almost got shot by a sniper that I didn't see. Once the alarm goes off and they turn everything red, this game loves its bloom. And uh, once everything's red, the eye lines of the enemies kind of just get lost in there, don't they? So I almost just died to a sniper um, trying to go for a third computer, which is why once I saw how close I had come to death, I decided to just leave. The most important thing 30 minutes into this speedrun is that Henry Beresford continues living. So if we've got to leave some money on the table uh, in order for that to happen, then so goddamn be it. Lava Lamp doesn't see any desync. All right, well, you know, some people got it, some people don't. You know, it's, it's the reason you don't see any desync is because, or is because your computer is is desynced as well. <laughs> I've had that issue with the audio that uh, I try and configure this stuff for live stream, and the problem is my audio system is so complicated that there is implicitly like a 120 to 200 millisecond like delay on everything that I see. So once I line everything up perfectly, it's 120 to 200 milliseconds out. <laughs> it's very difficult working with uh, with like post processing audio that is done you know, not by, by solid actual tr tr capacitors and transistors and things like that, but done by a computer and CPU logic. It's slower. Triple jump, those furry things from Star Trek? Yes, that is, um, again, Discord is researching this, but I, they think that that is the origin of the triple A jumpy. <laughs> Your audio seems fine to me. Okay, can we stop talking about the audio already? So, in terms of predictions, um, we had a prediction open. How deep is my cut on, on world record? How, how fast do I get this done that we opened at the beginning? 0% um, of voters said that it was barely, which would have been uh, within five minutes, from 50 minutes to 55 minutes. 55% um, of voters said sub 50. 45% said sub 45, and nobody said sub 40. So, you know, it's it's a pretty even heat in terms of uh, the predictions that are coming from chat that I'll either do this in less than 50 minutes or less than 45 minutes. And as we have discussed already, that was the stupidest thing I could have done. Why did I blow that computer up? I had just put a bug on it. And as we have discussed already, sub 45 is actually also sub 50, so those people are just going to win if... <laughs> Everybody wins as long as I hit sub 50, I guess. I don't know. Or sub... F I don't... <laughs> so we are into the banks. I don't know when that happened. I've been playing with chat more than I've been watching my own speedrun because I'm a bad YouTuber. <laughs> Um, but the Banks is, you know, the final level of this game, the final district of this game, uh, where you're going to be getting money out of it. Once you go to the Swindle, the premise, here's, here's the lore of the Swindle. You are a thief in the new old London town, <laughs> in the steampunk universe, and, um, the cops have started to develop a, a new technology called the Devil's Basilisk. And if they complete the Devil's Basilisk and it goes into function, it's going to secure all of the money in New Old London Town, or whatever this is, 
in such a way that neither you nor any thief will ever be able to, you know, steal anything ever again. And so that's obviously against your desires as a thief. Um, so what you're doing is you're on a quest throughout the game, not just to get money for the sake of getting money, but uh, to get enough money so that you can enter the district where they are keeping the Devil's Basilisk so that you can steal the Devil's Basilisk, preventing them from making you obsolete and, and there's no more thieving anymore. That's the, that's the premise behind the game. Uh, the goal is to get you to have to re-record the voice over off-stream. Oh, is that why? Okay. <laughs> That's why you guys have been messing with me the whole time? <laughs> About my audio? I don't know, your audio might be messed up a little bit. Those grandpas in the, in the wheelchairs, they've got like a proximity sensor on them, and the bomb goes off if you get near them. You can, you can kill them without triggering that thing, but I, I have to wonder, we looked into it, Breaking Bad was out, before uh, the swindle, right? And it, it, would, it had probably gotten to that season. Um, so we think that that's a reference to, um, to, to spoilers ahead about Breaking Bad, if you haven't seen it. There's a guy in a wheelchair, who, and then there's a bomb involved. You, you, you haven't seen... How have you not seen... Bra it's 2022 for... Okay. So what's just happened there is I got seen by those fellas uh, to my left. But one of the tools that I bought for the sake of going to the swindle is the Auto Steam Purge, which is basically a, you know, one free you effed up that you get. Um, so if you get seen, then your Steam Purge will automatically go off so that you actually weren't seen. But then your Steam Purge has to recharge for quite a long time if you don't buy the upgrades for it. I never buy the upgrades for it, which is arguably foolish, but it's just how I play. The other world record relies on Steam Purge a lot, and most players that I've seen rely on Steam Purge a lot. I, I just never got into it that way. That is a pawn only theory? That's, that's, but that's just a pawn theory! Is that what we were going for with that one dang dog? I literally was watching it before pawns started streaming. I'm going in order. I did BCS up to halfway through the last season. Uh, now I'm doing BRBA, and then El Camino, and then the rest of Soul. <laughs> it's actually, Nerd God hasn't hasn't seen all of them. Okay. Well, I, I gave up on Better Call Saul. Oh, we're in the swindle! Hey, the, the speedrun's going on, too. We were, I mean, I don't want to interrupt this stimulating conversation about, you know, television from ten years ago. But uh, we're in the swindle. This is the final level of the game. Um, this is, you know, the police... Headquarters, I guess you could say, where they're hiding the Devil's Basilisk, and so we're not here to get money. We're here to hack the security systems that are protecting the Devil's Basilisk from us so that we can steal the Devil's Basilisk uh, and get out and, you know, then rob all of New London Town in celebration or something like that. I don't know. Um, but so, at the beginning of this swindle, I'm seeing a lot of these guys who do this. See? See little gnats? They're coming after you. Two. I don't want nothing to do with that. If you leave the swindle, you still have, like, you've still bought your way into the district. If you fail, then your thief is dead and apparently he left his papers on his corpse. You know, you don't get that back. You have to buy your way back into the swindle. But if you leave it yourself, then you can respawn the, the swindle level and it will respawn differently. It's not going to give you exactly the same level. So as you can see, by respawning it, instead of having three of these old-timey record-looking things with the gramophone or whatever the hell they're supposed to be, instead of having the three guys who can hear you right at the front, uh, there's only, like, one of those below me, and what I'm seeing more of is cops. And that's what I want, is to be dealing with the police and not the people, not the robots that can hear me and spawn these little gnats that come flying at me from all directions. So, uh, you know, I lost a minute trying to start the swindle, uh, and coming to the conclusion that I should probably just reset it, but for the sake of resetting it, we're alive. Also, the people who said that I would complete it in sub-45, the 45% of predictions in chat, were... not... actually... Oh. 
wrecked. I'm sorry, but you 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 lost the bat. I, I didn't do it in sub 45. <laughs> um, so we've still got 55 percent of chat who thought that I could that I was that I am going to do it in less than 50 minutes. Sub 50. Uh, yeah. Curses says Lavalan. Foiled again. I added the foiled again part, but if you say curses, you have to say foiled again. I believed, Paul, and I believed. Well, I think you watched a little bit too much Naruto. You know, you need to tone down the shonen jump. <laughs> Believe it! Or just don't watch it in the American dub, because that's, it's just awful. Um, <laughs> you know, in the original, with the subtitles, it's great. Okay, this is a very sticky situation I've got with these two girls. Um, uh, they look like female police officers to me, so I always say the girls, these ladies here. But you see their walking patterns are very bad. There's, trying to find a hole that I can drop into between these two is going to be just easy for me because I'm just that goddamn good at the game. But you see how difficult that is and that you have to be good at the game in order to... No? No. Yeah. Trying to talk myself up here. What happens if no one wins this dank dog? Uh, I guess I get all the points. Uh, the rich get richer. Uh, God, I wish I, I could say that about myself. The rich get richer. That would be. Uh, instead, we could say um, the poverty-stricken <laughs> get some imaginary currency. I guess would be more accurate. <laughs> Need to find a hole to squeeze in between these girls. I didn't say that. P maybe, probably. I should. I shouldn't have said that, so I didn't. <laughs> um, but yeah, you will see me taking advantage of every time I knock down one of these flying drones in, in this level. I'm gonna pick them back up. We have twice in our attempts for world record here um, come into the swindle and ruined it. By me just spamming the, the hacking instead of actually, like, pressing down and pressing right when it asks. Because when you hack the computers in this game, there's no penalty to just spamming all the directions. And you can save time by doing it. But you really need to stop doing that when you're hacking the security stations in the final level. Because if you get one of those inputs wrong, it will go off and then you will have to leave and start the level over again. Twice. We have come all the way to the last level of the game, and I have just autopiloted, spammed the buttons, and gotten us killed. Mm, but as Lava Lamp is saying in chat, mostly the swindle, which is the game and also this final level is called the swindle, fails from the lack of bombs. Um, if you overuse your bombs, and I think, even if you don't, I think the swindle has a chance to generate where nine bombs isn't enough. Uh, where you need two bombs to get into the room where the Devil's Basilisk is contained, and you need eight bombs in order to open the way to all of the different security stations. Um, I think it can generate where you just literally can't have enough bombs, but the reason that it can generate that way, if it's true, is because there are other tools. And the former World Records run, uh, when it comes in here, it has the teleporter, which is, I think, the most expensive tool that you can buy in the game. The teleporter allows you to literally teleport through a one thick wall. Uh, so you can imagine how, how helpful that is at any point during the game, especially uh, on the last level. But I think the teleporter costs the same amount, as much or more, uh, to buy as it costs to get into the swindle. And because we did not follow the same kind of routing as the old world record, where where he does the banks, he does a level in the banks um, to 100%, meaning he he gets the, the ghost bonus from that, and he basically has over, I think he had 1.7 million pounds when he bought his, his tool set for the swindle and bought his way into the swindle. It's a great concept, and I think you could do what I've been doing until you get to the banks, and then do one level where you do 100%, and come out a lot stronger here. Um, in fact, the old world record, I think, just entered the swindle, or maybe entered the swindle like a minute or two ago. So much faster 
of a final level that the Old World Record does because it has almost every tool that you can buy in the game because it did 100% level in the banks. Um, that said, when I was in Casino Town, the World Record was still in the Warehouse District. So it's like there's a big gap where I get way out ahead and then it closes really fast. <laughs> Oh, and there we go. We're now uh, past the 50 minute mark. So everyone who said that, uh, everyone who predicted that I would do this sub 50 has just lost their points as well. And no one voted for barely. <laughs> no one voted for, uh, for somewhere between 50 and 55 minutes. But, uh, you know, feel free to take your guess right now of, uh, you know, how long is it going to take me to actually clear this swindle and, you know, did I lie to you? Maybe I've been lying the whole time. Maybe I'm like, I got world record, but maybe I didn't. Like, that, we could open up... Let, let me get another prediction going. <laughs> We're not going to do that. But that is a possibility. You know me. Uh, <laughs> Nerd God says I did it 130.29.5. So I beat my PB by uh, less than a second or something like that. That's why he never fixed the sub-50, sub-45 technicality, because it just didn't matter. <sighs> there is so much time that I am just wasting in this swindle, too, like in this final level run, because I am just trying to be, first and foremost, careful. I want to be sure that what's about to happen is what I think is about to happen before I move everywhere. So I'm taking my time, I'm thinking it out, I'm letting my uh, servant bots, my employees that I'm making by hacking these uh, these drones, uh, kill things off just, just to, you know, make the general area around me safer. I am taking my time. If you come in here, if you came into the swindle with uh, chutzpah and bravado and uh, huevos and uh, rancheros even, if you came in, oh, check this out. This is really smart. See, I can see the two little blocks that a security station is on above me. And we have this glitch that allows me to pass through the ceiling when I jump just right. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm taking my time. If you came in here with some balls and really blasted through it, we could have been done with this five, seven minutes ago, probably. Maybe seven's a little bit of a stretch, but we could have been done with this within five minutes. I could have, I could have you know, won some points for the people who voted for sub-50. There's no way I was doing sub-45 on this run, but... <laughs> And there was just no way to get that door open without getting seen by those girls. No way. Uh, so I just let my auto steam purge handle it. And then I hacked this guy. Why? You're gonna you're gonna glitch your way out of this room, Pawn. Why why would you take the time to hack? It's not like it can follow you through the through the walls. What are you doing? Eh? I can't believe this this whole time too. I never talked about. I never you know the. The fact that we can glitch through the ceilings. Like, that would have been one of the first things you say in the post-commentary <laughs> on your I got the world record run. I didn't say anything about it. But yeah, so we can glitch through ceilings if you haven't noticed me doing that the entire friggin' time. So right here is the Devil's Basilisk. It always generates in a room that is completely sealed. Um, that there's four walls all the way around you have to bomb in. Uh... And there's always a couple of enemies in it. But this is the MacGuffin. This is what we've come here for, is that device right there with all the wires running to it. Uh, and you cannot actually take the Basilisk. You can't hack it until you've taken every single security station offline. I've been following the purple indicators on screen. It says 22 meters, 19 meters, 13 meters away right now to all of the different security stations as we've been doing the swindle. That is the last one that I need to get to. And right now, I am very... Nervous because I've never set a bomb off this close to the Devil's Basilisk. I didn't know if it was going to blow up, if it was going to set the alarm off. So, again, I took my time. And we are down to one minute and five seconds uh, <laughs> to uh, not getting the world record here. So I've got to go at this point. And I know I've got to go if I want the world record. Which means I don't have time to figure out my path out of the building. I just got to grab the Devil's Basilisk and run and hope that we're okay. Now, the fact that I hacked all the security stations is going to keep the cops from coming immediately, but it doesn't stop them from coming at all. And we really only got about five seconds of, of time before 
the fellas with the miniguns came to try and shoot me to death. So now, I've got to hope that they don't get a lucky shot off. And they didn't. And the old world record was 55 minutes and 30 seconds. What I decided to do was move the three to the end and the zero in by one. 5503.26, according to these splits, is the new world record. I saved 27 seconds. In fact, it's 27 and some seconds because uh, when you look at it closer in the frames, I actually did it in 5502. <laughs> So you are world record holder? Indeed, I did not lie to you about the world record. We did technically get it, just by half a minute instead of by like five or ten minutes, which I think is also probably like possible. You could do that. You could do that. If you took the risks, if you went in hard, if you kept your huevos rancheroed throughout. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, so we, we managed to steal the Devil's Basilisk, and, uh, this is also the first time, this is, I've just set the world record, new world record, this is the first time that I have ever completed a Henry Beresford only run, a no death run, a deathless, you know, no thieves changed out there. It apparently took us 28 heists across 28 days, uh, in order to do this, uh, with 72 days remaining, and we walked away with 100 grand in our pockets even after spending all the money in order to steal the Devil's Basilisk. So, pretty good run, I would say, but I probably will continue running it for a deeper cut world record because it's hard to stop. <laughs> once you've, uh, once, it's, it's just an easy thing to reach for. It's, 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 a, it's a complicated but simple 2D platformer that I enjoy quite a bit, as much as I also hate it and grew to loathe it entirely, as it says in the bottom. Because it's when you turn a game that you love into a speed run, if you don't come to despise it, then you, you're you never going to get world record in it. You have to hate the game that you started out loving if you want to get a world record in it. That's Those are just the rules. Um, but yes, credits rolling. I am the Ronin Pawn. That is the new world record in the speedrun swindle, which doesn't even technically exist yet, but I'll, I'll make it on speedrun.com. I'm already a super moderator for Cluster Truck. They'll give it to me. <laughs> Thank you all for coming out. Thank you for watching this YouTube video. See what we're doing right now, chat? You see, we're talking to the people who are in the future they'll be listening. Um, we'll, we'll, we'll see it future, future speedruns, like maybe Super Mario... 64's 16 star speedrun, which is going to be our next subscriber goal. See, and then you tease, you upsell, so then maybe they come to the live streams at twitch.tv slash Ronan That's how you do it on YouTube. And then and then give them some kind of stupid reason why they need to go in the comments and say things, because the algorithm likes it when it sees that kind of engagement. Uh, I may have given too much away. Kenneth One says, thanks for watching the Spindle World Record Swedron. <laughs> is that it, says Dank Dog? That is indeed it. That is the end of the game. Uh, and, and yeah, I don't think you'll see me playing the swindle on on the speedruns here, unless there's suddenly like a, a great demand <laughs> for um, for swindle speedruns. Um, I doubt that I'll be playing it on, on stream, but I'll probably be playing it offline. And any world records that I get are going to the channel. Because, you know, I love to hate this game. Play Frostbunk already. <laughs> I don't I, I don't think I even have that. <laughs> you should say it like Picard. Comments, engage. <laughs> Watching you play Frostpunk would indeed be awesome. I I remember being very intrigued by that when I saw, you know, umpteen ages ago uh, when it first came out, or when it was maybe still in early access. Uh when I saw Dan uh, Hardcast, Nerd Cubed play it. I was definitely like, ooh, yeah, that's my kind of thing. But I don't think I actually picked it up at any point. But yeah, that uh, that genuinely does, that's that's my speed run, and that's all I wanted to do right here and now. Um, except that what I would also like to do is play... play some, some Super Mario 64 with you. If you guys are interested in that, we could. It's me, 
we could do some some Super Mario 64. Hello. Huh? But uh, I don't want to do that on this live stream or on this recording. Uh, so what I'm gonna do, and also because I need to like eat on regular intervals or else my bowels do weird things. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stop this live stream and uh, grab a snack, eat something, step away for a couple of minutes and come back and start up another live stream and it'll be Super Mario 64 and we will start uh, what I've been wanting to do for a while, which is just come back to SM64 and play uh, casually uh, for 120 star. And you'll note that I've, I've configured a, um, a texture pack to uh, make the experience just a little bit different. There's no changes to the game. No, you know, it's just a reskin, just a retexturing. Um, but you know, it spiffs things up. That's my plan. You love SM64? Cool. You need to eat? Feed Bezos. No, fuck the guy. He's he's fat already. Hit that like button, smash that subscribe, destroy that bell, murder your parents, desecrate their corpses, and tune in <laughs> from jail. Tune in from jail. That's, you know, that's how you get a really captive audience. Hmm. Refund the bet, says Dank Dog. Wait, I do have to confirm, like, what happened in the bet at some point, don't I? There's, how, how do I do that? Where's the, where, um, if I, do I just type slap prediction and then it pops up the, the last one? I choose the outcome and the outcome was barely. Uh, are you sure barely is the correct outcome? I don't know. I'm, I'm barely sure. No, in fact, I did not re refund the prediction because we need to like drain the, Drain the pool of the hundreds of thousands of pawn points that everyone has because I didn't have any way to spend them or do anything with them for a long time. For a long time. It helps. You're helping. See, by by going bankrupt, you're helping me. That's the Mosaic Task Force. With the 59, 59 months of subscription on the 59 month streak, almost. A year, almost a full year, I think that is. 59 minus the, divide the, yeah, yeah, it's like you're almost, almost five years, wow. Five years, not just like five years of subscriptions, five years of contiguous co subscriptions. Don't fuck up next month, Mosaic Task Force. I want to see <laughs> that, that 60 month streak. I guess it's not that difficult to not fuck it up. You just don't like click cancel. <laughs> um... But yeah, so I'm going to do those things that I just said, which is I'm going to stop this live stream. It'll make a nice, you know, complete recording that only relates to this stuff for Lady Pawn to upload to the Pawn Live channel at pawnlive.ronanpawn.com. If you want to watch the VODs on YouTube, pawnlive.ronanpawn.com. Um, and then I'll come back and we'll, uh, we'll start up some SM64. So, you know, I'm going away. It won't, I won't be right back, like, immediately, but, you know, within 20 minutes, probably less. So, you know, don't go far. Meet me back here. Uh, I am the Ronin Pawn. I guess I can do this, can't I? And especially since Mosaic Task Force. Uh, you know, I can roll the credits. We can, we can do that. We can do the outro, right? <clears throat> and then, and then the credits roll. There we go. Thanks for coming out, everybody. Don't go anywhere, because we're not done. Just because the credits are rolling, and I'm about to stop the live stream and be gone for 10, 10 to 15, maybe 20 minutes. To go. We're not actually ending the live stream, obviously. Why would you be confused about that? Don't, don't be silly. <laughs> Ooh, yeah, the real goal is 69 months. 69 contiguous months. That would be... All right, I will be back shortly. Um, meet me back here. In, in just a couple of minutes, and we'll start 120 stars on SM64. On. Out. Yeah. I mean, not the kind, you know.